how to connect iPhone or iPad to external monitor so you can see way much better what are you recording out there. Hello everybody, and by everybody I mean hi mom. Of course, everybody else, welcome. My name is Claudia and right now I would like to talk to you in this video about how to connect your iPhone or iPad with the external monitor. Why would you like to do it? Well, for example, you would like to record a YouTube video because you notice your friends, your family members, kids, grandkids, they are on YouTube. They maybe have their own YouTube channels and you decided, you know what? I have a specific hobby or some thoughts that I would like to share with the whole wide world. I would like to create my own YouTube channel. To do so, you need to start recording videos and share them to YouTube. Great. But sometimes, depends on what you would like to record, you might need external monitor to be able to see what you're recording. So how does it work? Well, of course, you can connect your iPhone or iPad with Apple TV. That's the box that you connect to your TV on a wall for example. Sometimes maybe you are recording the video in a garage. Maybe you don't have Apple TV. Maybe you are in your crafts room and there's no way you can use Apple TV. Or again, you don't have it. Don't worry. You can use the adapter. There are several adapters that you can use to connect your iPhone or iPad with external monitor. By external monitor, I mean just the monitor that you used to use with your computer. Maybe you switch to a laptop and you don't need that monitor anymore. So go ahead and check if you have that monitor somewhere lying around the house. Now, if you don't have a monitor, you can simply buy it. And here is the good thing, they are not that expensive as they used to be. Under $100, you can be a happy owner of the HDMI monitor. Hold on a second, I just said HDMI and in a moment I will also mention, whoa, hold on, VGA. That's right, so what are those? Ah, <sighs> okay. You have to check if your monitor that you are going to purchase or you already have somewhere around the house has a HDMI input or VGA input. Based on the type of input in that monitor, you will have to buy either HDMI adapter or VGA adapter. Now, let's make it a little bit more complicated. Don't worry, it's not really, but you know, those are new things. So let's talk about it. Depends on what monitor you have, either VGA input or with the HDMI input, well, you will have to select proper adapter that you will connect, that will connect that monitor with your iPhone or iPad. The choices are, if you have a monitor with HDMI input, you will have to now check your iPhone. This is the lightning connection or your iPad. If your iPad is iPad Pro, and then you will have to find a HDMI Apple adapter to USB-C connection. If you have an older monitor, which has that bigger looking plug, which is VGA, then you will have to, again, select a different adapter. Again, you will have to check your iPhone. That would be VGA to Apple Lightning adapter. Or if you have iPad Pro, then you will have to find VGA to USB-C adapter. Links to those adapters I added in the description to this video, so no worries. Wow, how many times can I say adapter? Quite few, it seems so. If I could recommend, I would encourage you to get HDMI monitor. If you don't have any monitors whatsoever, go with HDMI monitor. Just the quality is going to be a little bit better. Okay, so now it's time to actually set everything up. First of all, you need to prepare the scene or the workstation that you are going to record. Make sure that there is proper light so people can actually see what you are doing. And then get yourself a tripod, mount your iPhone or iPad to the tripod, connect the proper adapter that you have, connect the uh, HDMI or VGA cable, depends on which adapter you have, connect to that adapter. Some of those adapters, they have also access to power cords, so you will be able to use a power bank, like for example, this one, to 
recharge your iPhone or iPad while recording. So you can record way much longer and you don't have to worry about, oh, okay, the battery, my iPhone or iPad battery is running low. When all of that is connected, you get the other end of your HDMI cable or VGA cable to the monitor. Within a few seconds, your monitor should connect and show display whatever is on your iPhone or iPad screen, which is awesome because it's so simple. You just connect that, plug it in, and you're good to go. You don't have to set up anything. You see right away. So now you can just move and operate the tripod looking at the monitor to make sure that everything is in a frame, everything looks the way you want. And when you have all of that prepared, go for it, start recording and share it on YouTube, share with everybody else so they can watch it, they can learn, they can enjoy it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay groovy. Till next time. Okay, how many times did I say adapter? Huh, probably like 20 times too many. <sighs> All right, let's do it.